Now you might think this is a, you know, a decent sized millipede, but this is what I like to call an absolute pipsqueak compared to how big these things can get. I've always wanted to film a millipede on the channel, but the ones that live around me are a little bit, just not enough, a little bit petite, dinky, pipsqueakish. So today I am traveling to the Philippines, to the island of Bahol, to find an absolute monstrosity among millipedes and one that is one of the most beautiful colors in nature. Millipedes are some of the most ancient creatures on Earth, likely the first to ever colonize the land. And to find a millipede of truly prehistoric proportions, I'm traveling to the Raja Sikatuna, a protected rainforest home to some very primordial looking creatures. But this millipede is unique among them in how little it's been researched. You'll find almost nothing about this creature online, including about, you know, how it has a horrific poisonous defense and should never be picked up by any Anyone. So, as I wander through the jungle, blissfully unaware of this very important information, the time came when I found one, and yes, I picked it up. Alright guys, we have finally found it, and I cannot believe the size of this melody. Just you guys wait. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is what we came to the rainforest for. The giant Bahol blue millipede. Just look at the size of this thing. When I saw it, it's like the same circumference as a snake. Oh my goodness. So these things, from what I've read, can get up to seven inches, but this looks like it is pushing it. I didn't have a tape measure on me, but I set my hand next to the millipede to get a sense of its size. And then upon measuring my hands, I estimate this guy to be between eight and a half and nine inches long. An absolute behemoth, making it the biggest invertebrate I've featured on the channel so far. Even bigger than the Texas red-headed centipede. But unlike that monster, this guy doesn't have a taste for meat. So this animal is a detritivore. It's gonna eat all these leaves degrading on the ground and help recycle nutrients back into the forest. So millipedes are very important to the environment and one this big is gonna be doing a whole lot of that work. Now this millipede is famous for its color. It has that bluish gray and it's actually becoming pretty popular in the pet trade as one of the most sought after species. Even though this millipede is becoming a popular pet, I think you're better off sticking with your dog, cat, or chinchilla because of this thing's toxic weaponry, which my guides start telling me about as it's already on my arm. So what does the poison do to your eyes? Injured, but you can injure and then your eyes uh, not see now because blind your eyes. Blind your eyes? Yeah. Does blind it spray? Blind your eyes, but you can pop it to that. Uh, all right, so what our guides are just now telling me is that this millipede can actually spray a poison into your eyes. So yeah. just as I was, uh, if I kind of look on it, I see some wet marks on it. So I'm definitely gonna wash my hands with water. Uh, I've previously on the channel, we've had the uh, walking stick that sprays poison in your eyes. I don't know what specific poison this would spray. I'm gonna have to look it up, but that just adds to the cool factor of this millipede. So I hadn't heard about this whatsoever, and I have to admit I wasn't sure how true it was. After all, sometimes I felt that the guides were giving me information that wasn't all that accurate. What's the uh, name? King Cobra? King Cobra. No, it's not a King Cobra. Maybe. But after doing some research, it turns out the guides were actually downplaying how dangerous this thing was. This millipede sprays a toxic brew of chemicals out of a bunch of tiny holes along its body. And if this stuff makes contact with your skin, it can lead to horrific results. A user on arachnoboards.com by the name of I am Murgire, I think, had one crawl into their pants when they were asleep. And upon waking up and disturbing it, they described a feeling of hot oil being poured onto their leg. Even after immediately washing it, the poison did this much damage across eight days. A large part of this millipede's poison is made up of benzoquinone, a chemical that not only irritates skin, but if it gets into your eyes, it can stain them brown, deform your cornea, and permanently reduce your vision. So it seems like those guides really weren't exaggerating just how dangerous this thing was. 
A lot of millipedes are poisonous to eat, but it seems like only the Philippine giant blue millipede and others in its genus have a spray this damaging. Well, there's nothing like holding one of the most dangerous things I've ever featured on the channel and having absolutely zero idea. I'm really thankful I was handling it as gently as possible and didn't trigger its potentially life-altering poison so I can spread the word about just how careful you need to be around this beautiful species. Awesome, I finally found the giant Philippine blue millipede, one of the most gorgeous millipedes on Earth and one that my trip to Bohol would not be complete without. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for other giant and dangerous bugs, and I'll see you guys next time.